what happens when people order rare and exotic animals on the internet. An expat, as cute as he may seem, he does have some very sharp teeth, so they don't really make a good house pet. <laughs> Overwhelmed new exotic pet owners frequently abandon and release the animals they purchase, and they end up at nonprofit exotic animal rescues or sanctuaries like this one. Over the course of eight years, our house and our little backyard turned into an exotic animal sanctuary. Over 100 animals we've been able to rescue throughout the years. Rufio, kiwi. They're so cute, though. They are. Which is why people think they should be a pet, too. Wrong. Someone had her in their backyard as a pet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I say you can find anything on the internet. <laughs> it started with a couple couple reptiles, and then someone called with some birds, and then, you know, it turned into a skunk, and then, oh, someone's got a fox, so <laughs> people call. It's kind of crazy, some of the stories that we've gotten in. It was actually found roaming down Curry Ford Road in Orlando. Uh, most likely someone had him in their fenced-in backyard and he just dug right under it. So they're very loud, they're very destructive, they're a lot of work to handle. Most people get them because they think they're beautiful, but don't realize how much goes into their care. So these are our kinkajous. So these guys are native to South America. So all of these guys have been surrendered. He was actually found in someone's backyard. He was making these noises at the lady who found him. She was a little scared. So animal control showed up to her house. They didn't even know what this animal was. They had to Google it. No one ever came forward to claim their missing kinkajou. As cute and snuggly as they might be, uh, don't really make a good house pet. Amazing Animals promotes conservation through education by offering private tours to the public. He likes his little head rubbed, but we have him so that people can meet an alligator instead of trying to interact with wild alligators. I like to just say do your research. It's not to say that some of these animals can't make a good pet, but each animal has its own specific needs. To donate, visit AmazingAnimalsInc.org.